The patient was a male. He was 34 years old. He came to my observation because of an aesthetic problems due to the exposure during smiling of a root affected by gingival recession in the upper canine. The general health of the patient was absolutely perfect, no systemic disease and no periodontitis at all. The treatment plan consisted in the coronary advanced flap because there was a good amount, even if very, very small, of keratin ICC remaining. It was about one millimeter, but the patient biotype was extremely thin and especially the alveolar mucosa apical to the keratin ice tissue was extremely thin and attached to the root that was extremely buccally displaced. The reason why we add also endogain was to improve the quality of the attachment between the newly formed connective tissue and the root surface. Endogain by depositing the amelogenins on the root will promote the cells of the blood clot to be transformed in cementoblast and fibroblast, and this will improve the quality of new connective tissue attachment with respect to long junctional epithelium. Another reason why endogain was used was to improve the soft tissue healing, and this is very important when the patient has aesthetic requests because the patient wants to start to smile as soon as possible after the surgical procedure and not to wait only for the long-term outcome. We decided to add to the coronary advanced flap the use of the mucoderm because the objective was not only to achieve root coverage, which can be achieved also with the coronary advanced flap itself, but to increase also soft tissue thickness, which is a condition that is a, a critical for the long-term maintenance of the outcome. During the suture, it's very, very important that the vertical release incision are closed before the surgical papillae so that the old space which is occupied by the matrix that has to incorporate blood clot is really a very very uh, close um, a very closed area in which blood clot can only remain there can stabilize and so can become really new connective tissue and once everything is stabilized the vertical release incision have been closed and you close the, the surgical above the anatomic papilla with the sling suture, there is the complete adaptation of the small amount of keratinized tissue on the convexity of the clinical crown that does not allow bleeding seeping from the soft tissue margin anymore. In terms of post-operative course, it was absolutely perfect. The patient did not have any pain at all. There was no swelling and no hematoma. And from the very, very first healing, there was a very nice adaptation and blending of the treated area with respect to the IDH and soft tissue. The patient was very happy with the aesthetic outcome and also for the complete disappearance of hypersensitivity immediately after the surgery. And as much as the time was passing, the patient was even more happy because he felt that the area was easy to be cleaned by the patient because of the increase in the keratinize and increasing the soft tissue thickness. And so at six months time, the, the patient did not really remember that the surgical procedure was made. And also a very, very expert periodontist was not able that, to recognize that the surgical procedure was done in this area in order to demonstrate that the blending and the camouflaging of the area was absolutely perfect with respect to the adhesion soft tissues. My suggestions from a clinical point of view and from a surgical point of view is always to use the trapezoidal type of flap when you add the coronary advanced flap with something like matrix or connective tissue graft. So you increase the vascular bed, the most coronal area, which is at least in the first healing period, partially covered by the presence of the matrix. The second aspect is that the matrix should be applied one millimeter more coronal with respect to the cement enamel junction and two millimeters more apical with respect to the bone crest, since both the cement enamel junction and the bone crest are over countered with respect to the root. This allows the matrix to be much more separated from the root. This will give the matrix the possibility to incorporate much more blood, it becomes thicker during the healing and so this will increase also 
the increasing the soft tissue thickness after the healing.